So there's this thing, it's called the Mandela Effect. And it got the name from the fact that a lot of people thought that Nelson Mandela had died like around 2006 or around 2007. And they forgot about the fact that he got out of prison and he changed the world. And he only died just a few years ago. It's called the Mandela Effect because people have noticed there's subtle changes in our universe, even our very place in the universe. At one time we were on the outskirts of the Milky Way and now it seems we're towards the center of the Milky Way. And uh, some people think, and this is uh, really weird, well, how do you think the Bernstein Bears were spelled? Well, they're not the Bernstein Bears anymore. They're the Bernstein Bears. S-T-A-I-N, that's the way they spell it. It used to be S-T-E-I-N, because I remember I used to read them. I had those books. I knew they were Bernstein Bears. Now they're Bernstein Bears. And if you look back in the past, they've always been Bernstein. So it's the back to the future effect, you see? Who created Peanuts? Charles Schultz. Schultz. But if you look him up, it's Schultz now. There's no T in there. There was always a T. I got a good memory. An elephant never forgets. So here's the weird thing. These subtle little changes, what do they mean? Was Oscar Mayer always spelled M-A-Y-E-R? Did it used to be M-E-Y-E-R? What about Depends? Depends are adult diapers, but they're not called Depends anymore. Now, if you go to the store and if you look them up from the past, they've always been called Depend, at least in this time continuum that we live in. So you see, somebody's messed up. Somebody's been time traveling, and they're messing up stuff. Somehow we remember the true things, but little subtle weird changes. And, and here's the thing. It's like the end of Back to the Future, where he comes home, and all of a sudden Biff is working for his dad. And his dad's got like a big book, and they're rich now, and he's got a new vehicle. Okay, that's what it's like. It's the Mandela effect, but it's really subtle little things that have been changing. And it's freaking people out. It's baking our noodles, man. And let me tell you something. I've been noticing more and more things. There's even passages in, in the scriptures that aren't the same as they used to be that I memorized them as a child and remembered them and they've been changed just subtly. One little word or, or just the way things are. It's, it's, it's kind of freaky. And so, if you don't, you might think this is all just a bunch of garbage. Well, you look it up, you look up the Mandela effect, and you watch a few videos on it, and pretty soon you'll be like, something's going on, man. This is what I think. So I got my own theory, because everybody's got a theory. I heard one guy say that we're coming from an actual, we, we came from a different planet where there is Bernstein Bears, and Charles Schultz did do peanuts, but... The planet we came from was a little lighter and a little happier. And we're on this grumpy, angry, violent planet now. And we've been sent here to create love. So if that's the case, people love one another because I want to go home. I want to go back to my original planet. I want to go back to where Fruit Loops are spelled F-R-U-I-T-L-O-O-P-S, not F-R-O-O-T. I guarantee, on the planet I came here from, Prince is probably still alive. So this is my theory. They're messing with our timeline. Maybe it's CERN, maybe it's somebody who's invented time travel. They're making slow little subtle changes to see if we notice. But someday we're gonna wake up and there's gonna be big changes. I mean, we're gonna go, this is not my home and so what we need to do is we need to figure something out we get, we got to fix this this mandela effect because if it just keeps expanding and getting bigger and bigger and bigger if if you know one day i'm driving a chevy and tomorrow i'm driving a shavy that's not going to be a good thing i think the best thing you can do to fight it is you got to remember you got to remember your childhood you got to remember your past you got to remember who you are what you're about what your life is all about you have got to fight this Mandela effect. Don't let it screw up your life. Don't let it mess up our future. The only thing is I don't know how to fight it. I mean, I trust in God, but I don't know what to do.
do. So here's here's the thing. You think I'm a quack? Quack, 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 quack. Research it. Come back here. Hit me up with some ideas. Tell me how we can fight this Mandela effect thing. I don't like it. I don't I don't want it no more. I wanna I wanna, you know, if if my job is to put out positive vibes in the university, you, you better start thinking some happy thoughts and now, okay? Thank you.